so let's just say you weren't busy with like tons of other things and you you just had as much time as you wanted to work on this project what would you really love to do with it if you just could spend as much time as you needed on it mm, yeah uh it, there's a lot of different things i think one thing is we don't have a good app distribution or way of getting apps like we have discover but like discover is a desktop app i think for sure i want to make some sort of tv interface to get apps from uh places like flathub or the distributions package manager mm -hmm. um otherwise i think we could definitely do some work on the home screen as well mm -hmm. right now it's like this tv it's this really basic launcher that's just kind of like it's not even a grid it's it's like four rows of different app types and then you kind of just select it and you have to keep pressing right 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 if you there's an app all the way down the list uh we could do some research into maybe looking into ways we can get media from different apps and maybe display it like if the cody if we can fetch like some previews from movies from cody and you can kind of put it on the home screen it's it, that would definitely need a lot of work mm -hmm. investigating what to put um if there's people that are kind of using it more as a console maybe you can have a mode to like a game launcher actually built in um mm -hmm. that integrates with steam and uh other other game launchers to have like a tight integration to basically allow you to really get like a console experience right mm -hmm. um, there's definitely like i wouldn't say any of these things are like impossible they just need someone to run them so yeah if i had time i think those are things that i could definitely sit down for like a whole month working on <laughs> i personally don't have the time right now so sure, sure, sure. it's making it making making it in a usable state that i think most people will be able to enjoy mm -hmm. is already a good enough goal so um, if there's anybody yeah. who's interested in a side project there are some ideas for you <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, especially if you're a university student, because I find a lot of people are looking for... I mean, like, when I first started contributing to KV, I was, I was just about to start university. I was in first, about to start first year. And I think, like, working on open source projects, especially like this, where you can kind of take ownership over such a, such a big feature, <laughs> um, kind of, it's good, like, job experience. <laughs> it's also really good for learning. Um, so, you know, if you have time, you can join the Matrix channel and, uh, you can express your interest. <laughs> but, like, even if you, yes, obviously doing, like, big features are cool, but even if you're someone who's just interested in, like, getting, like, just sort of getting your feet wet, like, trying it out a bit, seeing what you can do, making, like, little patches, like, there's nothing wrong with just starting small yeah, and then working, yeah. working your way out from there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like for sure, that's how you have to kind of start with contributions too, right? You need to get used to the code base. Um, fixing bugs, for sure, we have a lot of small things to fix. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I definitely encourage you, even if it's not specifically related to the shell, the shell could be definitely a bit hard to work with, but sure, sure. like at KDE, we have beyond doing shell work you have apps um fixing small bugs in apps i think i, I think would definitely be good experience mm -hmm. yeah fair enough <laughs> fair enough <laughs> the nice thing about a project that's still like that's not like hyper polished is it's usually relatively easy to see where you can get involved like whenever you see something like something massive like you know the plasma 6 desktop and it looks really polished and it's like it's kind of hard to notice which is a good thing it's hard to notice obvious bugs with it it can be hard to work out sort of where to where to get involved with that Right, like if you look at a, if you look at something that's still, like let's take the Cosmic Desktop for example, it's still in alpha. There are still obvious bugs with it. There are things that are obviously missing, and it, it's a lot easier to sort of work out where you can add value to that when you know that it's not like in a really good state yet. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I joined Plaza Mobile too. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I want to contribute somewhere in KDE, but like, it seems you can. Well, first of all, you also get a lot of satisfaction from making something. You're able to work on a lot of things that users will be like to see right off the bat. Right, right, right. Like really big, impactful features. <laughs> Right. So I think there's a, there's, it's, it's a really good opportunity when like a project is small mm -hmm. um, and, and you can definitely influence a lot, like a lot of the project projects direction. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like, and you could even become the maintainer for that part of the shell or mm -hmm. whatever project you've worked on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right now is a good opportunity. <laughs>